Right, I'm going to test out my hydraulic press. Um, what I've got here is two inches in length of <coughs> 50 mil diameter EN19 or 4140. I've welded on just a temporary handle and what we're going to do is put this, uh, I've got a, a die bolted into the bottom here, onto the bottom die and we're going to heat it up, put it in the press and see how far down it will squish it. Right, we're about four degrees in the forge, so everything's about cold. Here we go.
right, so this is going to be a, a flatter in the end. As you can see, I've got the bit which will be hit by the hammer on top and the flat on underneath. So when you're doing a taper in the power hammer, you can have it at an angle and it'll hit the round and apply the force down to the flat. Um, as you probably can tell, the 30 ton hydraulic press can only take it so far. Um, the power hammer I've got, which is a 25 kilo power hammer, can actually take it even further. So in my view, a 30 ton hydraulic press hasn't got the same um, efficiency as a 25 kilo power hammer. But that's just my view. Um, the hydraulic press will probably be better when it comes to um, piercing, uh, hammer eyes and things like that. Things where you want a bit more precision for where things are going. I've already made a bolster up for the hydraulic press to take my fly press tooling. I've put these clamps on to better clamp tooling in the bottom. I'll be doing other things so I can actually do um, hammer eyes etc on the hydraulic press and leave the heavy work um, to the power hammer. Anyway, this will be finishing, you know, finishing off in the milling machine, get everything square, and uh, put a proper handle on it. Anyway, hope you enjoy this.